It has been confirmed time and again that an artistic idea profoundly provokes materials to help the idea's most adequate realization. The opposite is also true. The material properties act on a piece of art to bring that artifact into existence. This artist was certainly aware of this mutually beneficial relationship. He attempts to mold his designs into new materials and take advantage of the material's potential as instruments of form. Yevtich's opus is indivisibly linked to the notion of the artistic use of newer, non-sculptural kinds of materials. The idea that it is possible to use as an expression many different types of motions such as breathings of membranes, latex gloves, inflatable volumes, thin elastic foils and objects inspired Yevtich in creating numerous pieces of visual art. The art that was not possible in traditional materials became possible in the new materials. Moreover, the properties of the new sculptural material enabled Yevtich with new expressive possibilities and new visual variations of his principal ideas. Different from many types of kinetic objects, Yevtich's artifact draws the viewer inside the process of this artifact's coming into existence. Every time a viewer encounters Yevtich's artifact, the artifact necessitates the viewer's immediate action that, at their will, creates breathing and pulsing plastic forms. The playful and tactile experiences of interacting with Yevtich's kinetic objects are especially mm -hmm. interesting and allow the participant to achieve a most unique relaxation of their emotions and fantasies. In fact, when talking about these pneumatic objects, we refer to repeating cycles, phases and frequencies or intervals. The plastic and precise statements were made only for the initial and final forms of the changeable elastic volumes. All other intermediate states and forms stayed undefined in between the two extremes and succumbed to the wills and spontaneous movements of the participants. Spontaneity is obvious as the viewer, without any plan, impulsively steps on the pneumatic chambers attached by pipes to the elastic actors of indefatigable tensing, growth, and diminishment. Yevtich offers these elastic air reservoirs as instruments for the participant to generate endless number of shapes. Another of his creation styles, the hydroplastic, surpasses conventional expressions of plastic form in both painting and sculptural discourse. Here, the traditional painting method disappears as the artist paints with the mobile, pointillist method using a liquid of neo-positivism. Assemblies and contraptions made of webs of plexiglass tubes contain either monochromatic or colorful liquids that are put in motion by foot-propelled or electrical pumps. The visual sensations of the non-stop moving fluid particles that are uniformly distributed along the whole of the object are partial functions of the chromatic properties, velocities of the movements, and graphical appearances and forms of the enclosing tubes. The moving fluid particles, visually entangled with each other, leave the viewer with impression of a psychedelic spectrum of colors of an internal micro-universe. The Yevtich's visual innovation negates the traditional expression of painting. It is fascinating to realize enormous possibilities for relaxation that become obvious to the viewer focusing on the very center of the pulsating fluidic assemblies. I observed the viewers who would largely become thoroughly enthralled by the illusionary play of the liquid flow. This kind of extent of temporary addiction to an artifact is unique in the history of art. Miele specializes in functional art using his unique fabrication. This new concrete technique integrates sculptural form with material. The characteristic of the concrete is changed by Miele's process. It is no longer the gray, porous surface, but one that becomes alive with color, having the appearance of marble and the warmth of stone. Miele's aim is for concrete art to be an integral part of design in everyday life. His dramatic statements 
create an environment to be utilized and appreciated by all. Today, art has become conservative. The devices used in the abstract and conceptual art are nearly 100 years old. The modern approach has turned mainly to the computer, video, and virtual three-dimensional effects. Lacking are the modern technologies that are less accessible to the artist, robotics, micro nanotechnology, biotechnology, the ellipsis here is a symbol of their incomplete enumeration and an incomplete process. Milomir Yevtic said, all the techniques that I have used are developed along one single common thread. This thread is the energy that transforms shape. Air changes the shape of rubber, rubber changes the shape of concrete. That which was mobile becomes static and the opposite. That which was motionless now moves.